so for today's lecture let us start with the introduction portion of your uh, forensic microscopy different types of microscope so in this basically uh, the objective of this lecture will be like uh, once we end with this topic you should be able to understand what are the different parts of the microscopes and uh, how does the light travels inside the microscope that is one thing then uh, what are the uh, different parts how does the light travel what are the different types of microscopes and uh, how do they work what is the principle what is the how does the reaction or the interaction of light and sample is taking place so that we are getting a visible result okay so those things you will be able to understand in the coming classes so <clears throat> so everybody might have seen the microscopes in your laboratory you might be having or in your schools you might have seen the microscope so as we see like uh, a general microscope every microscope will have uh, like three basic parts that is like uh, <clears throat> the three basic parts of your uh, microscope will compose of like the head portion and the base portion and the arm portion so three different parts of any microscope whether it is a stereo compound so in that we have like uh, the head portion will be the place where we keep our eye and through which we are seeing that is one thing the head portion which will also include the objective lens and focusing lens okay so that is there are different components also that we'll see in the previous slide the base of any microscope which gives a support to the microscope so actually it is composed of have all the setup of the microscope so whether it is the arm portion or the head portion they are all standing on the base and the base is also having a source of light which focuses on the sample so that also we'll see then we have the middle portion of the microscope that is arm portion so we can say the arm portion is the place of any microscope which connects two parts of the microscope that is head portion and the base portion that is one thing and uh, it also helps you to carry the microscope okay so these are the three different uh, parts of your camera oh, sorry microscope then one more thing is like uh, how do you carry the microscope whenever you are handling any microscope so first thing is like uh, the microscopes at times they are like uh, the normal stereo microscopes or the compound microscopes they'll be costing around 40000 60000 so it is a very costly instrument right so uh, every instrument you should be able to like handle it properly so suppose uh, if you have to shift the microscope from one place to the other place so what you do is uh, as i told you like uh, from the arm portion you can pick it up and you can transfer that thing then the thing is like uh, suppose the uh, arm portion for compound microscope is there so compound microscope obviously at times it is very heavy and costly also so 
whenever you are holding it from the arm side and you are picking it up from the surface at the same time you put your another hand under the base of that microscope for the safety reason because even if you slip that thing or accidentally you lose a grip over that so there should be a support for that okay so it is like a care for the instrument so whenever you are handling such kind of instrument so make sure that your base uh, your one hand is at the base of the microscope and one hand you are holding the um, middle portion the carrying portion so that was about uh, your small care thing then we'll just discuss about the different parts of the microscope so you might have seen uh, the microscope in your college and schools so different uh, portions or different parts of the microscope as we can see that this portion is your eyepiece okay so in the microscope the optical part generally consists from this portion up to this area only okay important portion that is the head portion okay so what is the head portion consisting of it is consisting of the eyepiece or the place where you are focusing or uh, sorry where you are viewing the sample that is your eyepiece then you have your eyepiece tube okay Uh, this tube can vary in length it can be a short also it can be a long one also okay depending on the type of uh, microscope that you are using so next thing is about the body okay this is your body so this body it holds the most important optical components of the microscopes if you take the cross section of this microscope you will see different types of optical instruments that are fitted in the uh, what you call your head of this portion okay so this will uh, consist of different types of your uh, lenses fitted into the head portion or the body portion then we have your revolving nose piece so revolving nose piece what it will do is like uh, according to your requirement that you are going to see on the stage so so that thing you can just rotate your screen uh, rotate your sorry this uh, nose piece and fix your different types of lenses that are available okay so these uh, different types of lenses will vary in the different magnification also so these are your objective lenses uh, maybe depending on the type of microscope that we are using uh, the objective lens will vary in three numbers or at times four numbers or five numbers okay so here we can just rotate this piece and we can uh, according to our uh, requirement we can set up the magnification that is one thing then we have the other part of the uh, of the microscope that is the stage portion the stage portion is the place where you are going to keep the sample so your sample will be placed here on the stage for viewing okay so there is one you can see this clips are there so this clip will help you to fix your slide or to hold your slide on the stage so once you put your this um, 
clips over the slide so the slides will not be able to move so now your since your slide is fixed on the lens uh, sorry on the stage you can easily view your uh, slide then another thing is there is a course and find knob so you can see this big portion the big knob that is your course knob then again we have this small part this is your find knob right so what is the function of this actually the function is to whenever you are placing the sample on the stage so whenever we place the sample on the stage so we with the help of this knob we can move this stage up or down okay so once you move the stage up or down the calibration will be done the focus or the sample that you are viewing through the eyepiece whether it will be clear or it will be unclear so that thing can be done with your course knob so thing is you adjust the magnification with your course knob then again what the fine knob is doing once you have set your course knob once you have set your focus of the sample that means from the eyepiece you are able to see the sample clearly but still you think like there is some small magnification still required you can see the sample but it is not very clear okay so in that case what you do is this knob this fine knob will help you to make the sample very clear focus so once you rotate this uh, once you rotate this knob slowly the sample that you have kept here in the focus it will be much more clear so a very good image will be formed so <clears throat> this is the function of your knobs then base of course like it is holding the whole instrument then base is also having one important component that is your illuminator so some uh, camera uh, so some microscopes which are like uh, using the source like halogen lamps or at times this is absent so instead of this we can also have a mirror so you might have seen those kind of uh, cameras into your school where this particular thing is absent and in case of this there is a mirror placed so that we can use a uh, external source of light and adjust the mirror in such a way that all the light falling on the mirror is entering into this diaphragm okay it is focusing on the sample so uh, in this diagram that mirror has been replaced by the illuminator so most of the like um, advanced instrument uh, advanced microscope nowadays so we use this illuminator only okay so illuminator is actually uh, it is having a bulb so it is your uh, tungsten bulb so normal bulb that is uh, once you switch on this portion so what will happen is the electricity is glowing this bulb and this bulb is after illuminating it all the light is falling into this diaphragm okay so uh, there is a diaphragm which is going to limit your light so because uh, the sample what you are using here uh, it may not required sufficient light or more light or some samples may require less light or more light so according to your sample the requirement of light may vary so how do you control that light here we are going to control that light with the help of this diaphragm 
so we can rotate the diaphragm and we can limit the light that is coming from the illuminator and falling on the sample okay so that is the function of your diaphragm so again there is one thing that is called condenser okay just um, under this diaphragm so diaphragm is limiting the light and again the condenser what it is doing is whatever amount of light is coming from the diaphragm it is going to condense and focus on to this pin hole or the small hole so just over that small hole you are placing your slide right so all the light will be condensed whatever is coming from the diaphragm all those light will be condensed and it will come out of this hole and finally it will reach to the sample so as we can see this hole we can give the name aperture because aperture is the place where your light is coming out ultimately and entering into the sample right so this is all about your uh, this different types of uh, different parts of your microscope and their function okay so here what illuminator is doing is it is illuminating or it is a source of light diaphragm is limiting the amount of light that is illuminated by the halogen lamp condenser is condensing the light into one particular place and that amount of light is coming out of this small hole that is called your aperture fine so this is clear about your parts of microscope are you able to hear me yes sir yes sir, sir. fine fine so i already told you like the three basic uh, components of your or the parts of your uh, microscope that is your head base and arm so now comes like uh, what are the optical components uh, i have already told you in the figure itself but we will take some like uh, the theory portion also so uh, optical components uh, there are two important components in whole the setup in all the setup of your microscope two optical components are important one is this and the other is this one okay so optical instrument optical component important is this one and this one if you vary this thing and this thing the whole image uh, the whole calculation or calibration will change so uh, your ips generally your microscopes uh, once they are supplied they are supplied with the basic uh, type of the ips uh, and the magnification for those ips will be either 5x or generally 10x okay so whenever uh, we purchase the instrument uh, the instrument will have both like uh, it can be supplied with the 5x also and in addition to 5x magnification we can get 10x also so i <laughs> sorry so i is is what you look through at the top of the microscope typically standard eyepieces will have a magnifying power of 10x or 5x optional eyepieces of varying powers are available typically from 5x to 30x so that is about your eyepiece then second is the uh, just below that eyepiece the tube portion so uh, the eyepiece tube holds the eyepieces in place above the objective lens binocular microscope heads typically incorporate adapter adjustment ring that allows 
for the possible inconsistencies of our eyesight in one or both eyes the monocular that is one uh, one ocular microscope does not need adapter like uh, this uh, instrument what you saw in the pre uh, in the previous slide in the first slide that is monocular that means only one single eye you can see so in our labs you might have seen like uh, uh, the microscopes are having two ocular lenses uh, two uh, with the help of your two eyes you can see so that is the not a monocular but a binocular okay so mono means one bi means two so obviously you can understand the meaning of this okay so <clears throat> what is objective lens the bottom portion of your just above the uh, stage the objective lens through which you are going to view the sample which you are going to focus on the sample they are the primary optical lenses on a microscope they range from 4x to 100x and typically include 3 4 or 5 lenses depending on the uh, type of the microscope that we are using then we have the nose piece so nose piece actually what it does is the <clears throat> it houses or uh, it holds the objective lenses the objectives are exposed and are mounted on a rotating um, platform so that different objectives can be conveniently selected standard objectives include 4x 10x 40x and 100x and apart from this uh, this 100x can also be supplied with the uh, oil immersion uh, objective lens so that is one different uh, kind of lens that we'll talk later what is the oil immersion so for now uh, suppose we have 4x 10x 40x and 100x type of uh, your objective lenses so <clears throat> they have a different power objectives okay so this is what we are talking about the nose piece okay so this is a rotating device we can just rotate whether we want 10x whether we want 40x whether we want 100x we can just rotate this and according to our requirement we can focus on the sample so then we have the coarse and fine focus knobs that are used to focus the microscope increasingly they are coaxial knobs coaxial means they are into the same plane and that is to say they are built on the same axis with the fine no, uh, fine focus knobs on the outside coaxial focus knobs are more convenient since viewer does not have to grope for a different knob so what it means to say is uh, um, the coarse and fine knobs they are placed in one plane only so that while you are adjusting the magnification so uh, first thing is uh, we should start with the coarse knob so once we are operating the coarse knob and we have got the good magnification good view is obtained through our eyepiece and still if we want to magnify that thing so what we do is we adjust with the fine knob okay so that is what it is saying then we have the stage obviously the place or the platform where the uh, sample is kept or where you keep your slides so that is your stage then you have the stage clips the stage clips will help you to hold the sample or to hold the slide okay so at times you can like uh, operate the stage manually also 
uh, you can shift the uh, stage uh, left to right forward backward also so some cameras uh, sorry some microscopes they have this function also um, but some microscopes they have a fixed uh, stage some camera uh, some microscopes they have a rotating or moving stage so the advantage of moving stage is like uh, if you see this stage is like fixed it is not going left or right forward and backward okay this will be fixed so what you have to do is you will have to manually adjust your slide on this so you have to move your slide and then only you can see the sample through this but the advantage of this moving stage is like uh, suppose uh, if you have kept your slide here and uh, given the stage clips that means the sample is now fixed on the stage so now you uh, now you don't need to uh, touch the slide you don't need to touch the stage there are some rotating knobs just below this just below this stage and uh, with that knob either you can move your stage forward backward left or right okay so that is the advantage so you don't have to touch your sample just fix your sample on the slide once and with the help of the rotating knob you can just shift your stage according to your convenience then you have your stage clips which helps you to hold the evidence or your slides then you have the aperture that is the hole in the stage through which the light reaches the stage illuminator is the light source for a microscope typically located in the base of the microscope most light microscopes use a low voltage halogen lamps with continuous variable lighting control located within the base okay then there is one more thing like uh, this illuminator whatever amount of light it is giving that amount of light also it can be controlled that can be controlled okay so that is what it is saying uh, with with continuous variable lightning it can be controlled also in within the base so in this diagram you uh, in that picture you will not be able to see because uh, the variation was not there but in second uh, image i will show you like uh, how it is controlled then you have your condenser i already told you the amount of light which is coming it will be condensed or it will be focused into one small place okay then you have your iris or diaphragm okay the amount of light reaching the specimen is located above the condenser and below the stage most uh, high quality microscopes include this is one company name okay abbey condenser within iris diaphragm combined they control both the focus and the quantity of light applied to the specimen that is what i am saying they control both the focus and the quantity of light applied to the specimen that means whatever the amount of light is coming that is to be controlled and then the focus where it has to go whatever the amount of light it is coming where it should be go whether uh, it should be focused into one plane one small area or it should be uh, given in a large area okay so that thing is also controlled then you have your condenser focus knob move the condenser up or down to control the lightning focus on the specimen <clears throat> so this is about the optics the light traveling this is how the light is traveling inside the microscope okay so this is the place so this was about your illuminator or the halogen lamp or the light source 
okay so from this light source the light will travel through the condenser it is coming out of the aperture on the specimen the light will pass through the specimen and it will reach to your what is your objective lens okay so whether it is 5x 10x 100x so the light will just enter into that objective and again after entering into the objective the light will pass through the projector lens and reach to the eyepiece so eyepiece also different magnification we are having 5x is uh, we can have or we can have 10x also okay so once are you able to hear me yes sir yes sir, yes, sir. Okay. just hold on for some yes, more sir. time okay okay hold on for some more time because time is running out we just end this session okay uh, so the light is finally reaching to your eye outside this eye piece we are viewing okay so finally how the light is traveling is from the illuminator that is your halogen source through the condenser to the aperture throughout uh, within the sample the light is focus reaching to your objective lens which varies into different magnification it is projected through the projected lens into the eyepiece the eyepiece may also vary whether it is 5x or 10x and finally we will be able to see our sample what is placed on the stage with the eye okay so that is how the light is traveling inside the microscope fine so depending on the traveling of light within the specimen okay so whether the light is uh, traveling within the specimen or how the light is affecting the uh, sample or how the light is interacting with your specimen okay so whether the light which is traveling here whether it is absorbed or deflected or reflected by the specimen or whether the light is traveling through the sample okay so depending on that we have like uh, different names that is dark field microscopy and bright field microscopy okay that we will take in the next class okay so uh, for this uh, for today just uh, remember like how the light is traveling inside the microscope what are the different parts of the microscope and what is their function and how does the microscope work that is the basic so for today we will end with this thing and later on we'll continue uh with your uh, dark field and bright field microscopy okay so for today thank you all thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir hello hello yeah tell hello amare okay okay uh, whoever was present today they should share your presentations in our group okay yes ma okay ma'am also uh, others can refer it Hello